To better understand how this effect works, I will use this small model for demonstration. These are the two textures I have baked already, one for day and one for night. I will create a basic principled BSDF shader for it. To better reflect the texture's original result, set the roughness to the maximum. Turn off the environmental lighting influence and connect the texture to the emission, setting the strength to one. The current effect is now almost identical to the basic colors of the texture. Next, add the same shader to the night texture. Create a mix shader to switch between them and link the night texture here. When the factor is zero, it's day, and when it's one, it's night. Using a mask to control this factor will enable the transition. Create a sphere empty, and use the range of this sphere to switch between day and night. Add a texture coordinate node, and select the sphere empty to control the factor using the sphere empty's local space. After scaling the sphere, I found that the result wasn't as expected. So, I created a gradient texture and selected spherical. You can now see the spherical mask effect. Add a color ramp to adjust the softness of the sphere's edge. In the final effect, you may have noticed that the sphere's edge wasn't very smooth. A wave texture can be used to affect the edge of the sphere. Create a wave texture and connect it to the output to see how it looks. Adjust the parameters to get the desired result. To better control this wave texture, I used world space for control. After adjusting the scale and distortion, I got a satisfactory result. Now we can mix these two results. Create a mix node, set it to color, and select multiply for the blending mode. Okay, the effect is done. Connect it to the output and check the mask result. I can adjust the roundness of the mask using the color ramp, but this method is cumbersome. Add a math node here, set it to multiply, And I can now control the roundness of the mask by adjusting this value. At the same time, you can adjust the color ramp and wave texture to get an ideal effect. In the final effect, there was a glowing edge around the sphere. Now let's create that effect. Organize the nodes a bit and you can place the completed nodes inside a frame. Add a mix shader here and create an emission shader. Use the mask to control the mix shader and now the white edge appears. You can adjust its thickness using the color ramp. Adjust the emission strength. Here's how to enable the bloom effect in Blender 4.2. Open the compositor window, enable, use nodes, and add a glare filter between the nodes. In Blender, the compositor has certain enabling conditions. Off. Enabling camera and always enable. Always enable is the same as in previous versions of Blender. You can choose a special effect here, and bloom is the same bloom effect as before, which looks pretty cool. There are also other effects you can choose from based on your preference.
I'll go with the original bloom effect. Okay, next we'll add a sparkling effect to the glowing area. I just need to blend the mask with a noise texture. Create a noise texture and choose the noise type. I think this effect looks good. Create a math node and set it to multiply. Now you can see a flickering effect. The bloom has weakened, so increase the emission strength. This creates the sparkling effect. If you think the line is too thick, you can adjust it here. Okay, the basic effect is done. The current transition effect is from day to night. How can we switch from night to day? You just need to swap the lengths of the day and night textures. Now it's transitioning from night to day. However, this method of switching is quite cumbersome. Restore the previous connection. I used a new method to swap the two textures. Create a mix color node here. When the factor is zero, it selects A, and when it's one, it selects B. Create another mix color node and link them. When both factors are set to one, the day and night textures are swapped. Add a value to control both factors at the same time, And now you can easily switch between the two textures by adjusting this value. Clean up the nodes a bit. This part is the common section, and the only difference is the textures. Select this portion of the nodes and press Ctrl plus G to create a common shader from these nodes. Press Tab to return to the previous level, and now I've created a custom shader that achieves the texture switching. Select it and press tab to enter the common shader. Give it a name. And A and B can also be renamed to something more descriptive. Here's another model. Use the created common mix shader to achieve the same effect on this model. In the group, select the mix shader we created Link the corresponding textures and adjust the size of the empty object. You'll see the transition effect applied here as well. One thing to note is that my curtains are semi-transparent. So I need to modify the mix shader to support transparency. I just need to output the alpha from both textures. Name these two alpha outputs. Return to the main level and link them accordingly. Now you can see the semi-transparent effect on the curtains. In Blender 4.2, the default is the dithered mode, which is equivalent to the previous version's hash mode, and they removed alpha clip from the previous version. Okay, that's the entire effect. If you want to change the color of the glowing edge, just need to adjust it inside the common mix, including the thickness here. The only thing left to do is to animate the empty object and you'll achieve the transition effect. I will put this file on Gumroad for free. I appreciate any support, but I don't want to impose or pressure you guys to give. This is the whole process. I hope it helps you. See you next time.